Alyssa, our panel agrees that while the Tea Party exists in Allen County, it's not very substantial. But they say even if Trine University's gym wasn't packed full of people yesterday, that doesn't mean there won't be any impact at all. Well, obviously the Tea Party is having a pretty profound effect nationwide in Delaware, Alaska, and other states. We've seen the influence. Arguably the most well-known is the win of Tea Party member Christine O'Donnell in Delaware. Yet yesterday at Trine University, Glenn Beck didn't speak to a full house. Around this district, we haven't seen much activity from them. Uh, I haven't seen them doing a whole lot, so I just don't think they're very active here. You do see it. You see it in Huntington County. You see it in Whitley County. Uh, I think ultimately their legacy this year is going to be Marlon Stutzman, who managed to knock off some, some much more establishment Republicans in that caucus a few months ago. The people who are Tea Party members in the 3rd District that are going to support Marlon Stutzman were never going to vote for a Democrat to begin with. Beck's message, however, is one that all of our political analysts agree is the strength of the Tea Party and a weakness to the Republican Party. But I really think the strength of their issue, smaller government, lower debt, will be enough to carry them through generally. People are upset. They think that government's not listening. And if that runs deep enough, it's really not going to matter. People have thought all year long that they were irrelevant, but I think it's seven or eight times now they've managed to, to win elections in, the, in, this, in this country. It's going to do kind of a pro, what people call pro the party. Uh, they're going to take away po votes in primary elections. And then in the fall, people are going to look at these extreme right-wingers or maybe a moderate Democrat. And a moderate Democrat is going to become very appealing to them very quickly. Elizabeth Fields, News Channel 15.